Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, okay, this is a recorded okay, uh, lecture. Uh, for chapter number one, thermodynamics. Okay, I, I will share to you my uh, slide. Okay. Can you see the slide? Yes. Okay. Okay, I, I will start chapter number one. Uh, introductions uh, to the modern image for but uh, this is the last slide of this chapter so uh, for motivations uh, to you about the thermodynamics this is the applications area of thermodynamics that you will be learn okay so as you see this is a refrigerant uh, the air condition system and also the power plant and then juga as a two other other environment situations of the people so why why the people because uh, around the people we have the temperature uh, pressure so that's why it is also being categorized as the area of thermodynamics okay so let's go for the first slide, uh, the slide is uh, actually come from the uh, my clips in uh, Shah Alam, uh, but the slide is based on a MEC 451, the modern mix. But as I said, this is the first attempt of the uh, courses of EM254 uh, in UITM uh, for Matang Pau campus. So your your topic is uh, your code is MEM uh, four six two. It is same as MEC four five one. The old uh, slide for thermodynamics. Okay, uh, what you will see in this chapter introductions and also the fundamental concepts. So uh, you will learn uh, number one. Introduction to the modern mix, and of course, law of the modern mix, uh, zero law, first law, second law, and third law. Uh, that I will just brief uh, or give the uh, the definitions of this uh, law of the modern mix, and uh, also you will see on the uh, system, uh, the definition of the system, types, properties, state, uh, process, and equilibrium. All these uh, sentence or sent all these uh, words is uh, will be used in this course of thermodynamics. So uh, also uh, number four, you will go on the thermodynamic process and cycles. Okay, based on the definition because we talk about intro introductions and fundamental concepts. Uh, you will also uh, learn or being introduced about temperature scale, uh, pressure, uh, pressure, the device that used for pressure measurements, manometer, barometer, and atmosphere pressure. Uh, and lastly, on the energy, okay, energy, environment, and also the sustainability issues uh, that we gain, ataupun we uh, deal uh, around us right now. Okay, what is thermodynamics? Okay, this is the definition of thermodynamics. Uh, okay, actually thermodynamics adalah uh, is a physical science. Okay, uh, that deal with relations between heat and other form of energy, and by extensions of the relationship to all form of energy. That is thermodynamics. Okay, so if you see in this statement, uh, it actually come from the heat. Okay, any are any things that are related to heat? Okay, to heat uh, that come from the energy, ataupun that come from the uh, devices uh, 
uh, such as from system mechanicals, electricals, chemical energy, and then this energy uh, can be transformed, okay, uh, to another relations of another energy. Okay, itu adalah cabang for physical science of uh, nila thermodynamics definition. So, kalau kamu tengok kat sini, uh, this is the thermodynamics and daripada thermo is came from the words of heat. Okay, thermo it came from the word of heat. Dynamics it came from the word of motion. So, when you compare these words it will give you the thermodynamics mean the motion of heat that means motion come from the power or work heat come from the thermal energy uh, uh, or somewhere else of energy that have a uh, thermal elements so thermodynamics is the learning process of uh, mo uh, motions of heat Okay, anything, energy that have emotions, we can categorize it or we can uh, put it in the definition of thermodynamics. Okay, uh, thermodynamics is the sign of energy. Okay, then uh, this energy is stored in the body. Okay, our body have an energy. So every day, every second, the energy from our body akan uh, keluar. Okay. So in that situations, you are deal with thermodynamics. Okay. So the application need 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 examples of the system that have the thermodynamics. So thermal energy storage, uh, daripada from the heating. Um, cooking and also thermal dynamic, uh, therm oh, sorry, thermal energy storage that it heat from the uh, system that has a pedal wheel work or shaft. So uh, when heat in this system uh, increase, of course the pedal wheel will be rotate. Okay. But it's about the pressure, okay? It, because the heat uh, increase the pressure, so this paddy wheel will be rotate thing. So what happen? It will convert energy from heat to another energy called work, okay? So much you got any heat when you boil the water. Uh, the heat from the uh, combustion, the heat from the uh, uh, what we call uh, from the burner, okay, transfer to the water, and then from water, uh, uh, heat will be uh, heat up all the molecule in the water, and then the energy will be transferred. That's why, as I said just now, the more that it meets. Dynamics is motion. Thermo is heat. So the motion of heat. Okay, the application of thermodynamics, uh, example, automotive engines, steam and gas power plant, refrigerant uh, or refrigeration or heat pump cycles, turbine compressor, and also heat exchanger. That is the examples of uh, application of thermodynamics related to energy conversion. So now we go for the uh, what is the form of energy? Okay, form of energy. Energy is defined as the ability to cause changes. So uh, energy exists in numerous form of uh, such as thermal, mechanical, kinetic potentials, electric mechanical, dan uh, total dan uh, nilah banyak. Uh, Okay, nuclear and their sum of constitute to total energy. So we go narrow down. Energy have uh, microscopic energy and macroscopic energy. So for microscopic energy, 
it is form or it is some of the microscopic form of energy is called internal energy so microscopic energy uh, will create ataupun will call as a internal energy so internal energy is type of the microscopic energy another one is macro okay macroscopic energy there is a form of energy that a system processes as whole with respect to some outside reference frame such as kinetic and potential energy so macroscopic energy uh one of the element in uh, its type is uh, kinetic and potential energy so internal energy is micro macro kinetic and potential energy we categorize in macro so kinetic energy so this is the definition for kinetic energy the energy that a system processes as a result of its motion so you have to remember kinetic energy uh the symbol is uh capital uh, k and e kinetic energy is resulting as from the motion potential energy uh it is energy that the system processes a result of its elevations in the gravitational field so when we we talk about kinetic it have a motion okay when we talk about potential energy it must have a height or uh, elevations a uh, height okay that is uh, from the gravitational uh, field so uh, this is a picture that describe uh, the differences of microscopic and macroscopic energy So, uh, thermodynamic also can be concept of is a concept of energy. So we can divide this uh, uh, thermodynamic concept more clearly. So uh, energy that storage uh, uh, inside, okay, minus inside. That means uh, example of the uh, system that we see just now. That mean like, okay, this one, the system that have a iso, apa, isothermal ataupun isolated system only have a paddy wheel work. And then uh, energy in transit part functions uh, that is outside. So uh, from outside, we can divide it into three that mean mass flow work transfer and heat transfer uh, when we deal with mass flow that mean mass flow this is an example of a mass crossing the system boundary of control surface so uh, it, it is like the piston and cylinder device so it have input and output so inlet and outlet so the mass will be flowing from inlet to outlet because and uh, because of the piston moving and then work transfer divided into two uh, mechanical work uh, form of work transfer based on the solid piston and cylinder and also on the isotherm isothermal uh, system which mean uh, the paddy wheel will be rotated when uh, the temperature or heat inside this system is in increased so same as the piston cylinder compression work so compression work uh, when we compress the the piston down to the cylinder so it will uh, influence the pressure and temperature inside the system Okay, net is non-mechanical form of work. Non-mechanical uh, is not come from the moving part of the mechanicals, but it come from the electrical part of the non-mechanical. So electricals based on the battery wired, it will uh, give the heat inside the filament. So uh, in this case, 
uh, this is work transfer from non mechanical okay so uh, electrical work the force is uh, voltage of the electrical potentials uh, so displacement is the electrical charge so this is the formula for work that's come from the uh, electrical so voltage time uh, and voltage time uh, voltage time i is for electrical okay uh, chains so the unit is kilojoule so heat transfer another side or side is heat transfer uh, from the working uh, from the cooking okay uh, cooking uh, process uh, where the water heat from the uh, burner will be transferred to the water and then water will be boiled uh, and the molecule inside the water will be rich the temperature will be rich uh, 100 celsius okay that is all the concept of energy uh, in term of the thermodynamic concept okay? Okay, law of thermodynamics. Uh, four law of thermodynamics. Uh, zero law, first law, second law of thermo, and third law of thermodynamics. Okay. So the law actually describes how these quantities behave under various uh, circumstances and forbid certain phenomena. Okay, so behavior of these uh, of these quantities, not quality, eh? quantities. So that's why we categorize uh, zero law, first law, second law, third law. Okay. So we look on the first law of thermodynamics. Okay, first law. Um, so. Uh, Example, energy is moving when substances are in contact. So, example, as you see in these pictures, uh, figures, so it has iron and copper. Okay, uh, firstly, iron, the temperature is 150 Celsius. Copper is 20 Celsius. When these two substances been contacted, okay, what happened? heat will be transferred okay heat will be transferred from uh, iron to copper because we know heat energy will transfer from high to low not from low to high so high to low so from here temperature high will be transferred to the low uh, temperature and lastly these two substances have a same temperature okay when okay when these two substances are in the thermal equilibrium that means the same temperature iron and the copper uh, they are also in the thermal equilibrium with which others at this uh, phenomena as these environments we call it uh, as a zero law, okay? So the definition, the zero law start as a two bodies are in the thermal equilibrium if both have a same temperature reading even if they are not in contact, okay? So uh, this is an example to show you uh, or to uh, introduce to you the zero law of thermodynamics. Okay, first law of thermodynamics. So, uh, for the fundamental first law of thermodynamics, uh, actually, it is a principle of conservation energy. Uh, okay, this is not the definition, but first law of thermodynamics actually. Uh, actually uh, follow or actually uh, the concept is follow the principle of conservation of energy so energy cannot be created or destroyed semua orang tahu okay everybody knows but can only be transformed from one form to another 
So uh, let's look on the conservation of energy principles. So during these uh, interactions, energy can change from one form to another, but the total energy must remain constant. Okay, that is the important things or important statement that you have to understand. Okay, when we talk about conservation of energy principle, uh, energy only change, but the total the total amount of energy is going remain remain constant. So when we put on a mathematic model, okay, because study as a statement, when we want to make the analysis, we have to put on the mathematic model. So energy in minus energy out is equals to the total of energy the system. So this is a figure or the picture about what this I I talking about the mathematic model based on the conservation of energy principles. So this is a system. This is sorry. This is a picture. Uh, this uh, some moment uh, energy uh, that's in uh, to this man is five units example, and then this energy store one units, and the energy that will be out is four units because uh, five units that he ate okay, and then one unit will be stored in his uh, body. And five or uh, four unit will be come out from his body. So uh, when we put in the mathematic form, uh, five minus four, okay, uh, five minus four is equals to uh, five. That means okay, that that's five uh, out is four. Five is uh, in. Five minus four is five. Okay. Okay, if you look on this mathematic, it's quite uh, silly, right? Because uh, macam mana lima tolak dengan empat sama dengan uh, lima? Okay, yang tu yang... Sir, yang, yes. sorry, sir. Yep. Sir, kalau saya buka full screen boleh? Ada yang tak nampak, saya tak jelas. Tak jelas lah. Okay. okay uh -huh. tak. Full screen, full screen. Uh, yang ni? Oh, okay, okay. Nampak eh? Okay. Nampak, nampak. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, yang ni, yang ni saya akan cerita dengan lebih dalam lagi nanti. Sebab this is based on the uh, assumptions that we, what I, what, uh, what I told you just now. Uh, Cengal dan juga McConkey. Okay, maknanya energy in, tolak energy out sama dengan total of energy system. Okay. Sama juga for the potential energy, kinetic energy. So uh, potential tends ke kosong. So PE bila turun tujuh unit and three units. Okay, yang ni pun uh, sama juga how we uh, how energy transform to another uh, energy. Okay, it uh, that that's about the first law of thermodynamics. Okay, first law of thermodynamics actually based on the is not defined as a principle of conservation principle of conservation of energy uh, the principle of conservation of energy is not the first law of thermodynamics but first law is based on the principle of conservation of energy okay yang tu you have to understand okay second law of thermodynamics okay actually second law of thermodynamics uh it's deal with a sum of entropy Okay, of interacting thermodynamic system uh, increases. Okay, as you see here, uh, it states that the, uh, at high temperature energy of the fire goes to the water and surrounding, uh, degrade, transform into less youthful form at low temperature. Once it is transferred to the surrounding air, okay, this process could not be reversed by it. Own. So, uh, significant of the second law of thermodynamics, what what happened? Identify the process. Uh, identify the direction of process. So, uh, when we talk about second law of thermodynamics, it have a uh, directions. Okay, and uh, as it the energy has quality as well as a quantity. 
and also determine the uh, theoretical limits of the performance of energy system. Okay, so uh, the second law, actually, one what you want you have to know that when you when we want to know about the second law, it's actually uh, goes the analysis of the entropy. Okay, entropy. Entropy is one of the properties that have in the thermodynamics. Okay. Third law of thermodynamics. The entropy of the system approaches a constant value as the temperature approaches absolute zero. Okay. When the exception of non crystalline solid that means glasses, the entropy of the system at the absolute zero is definitely close to zero. Okay. So what happened in the short form, the third of thermodynamics says that the entropy of the pure perfect crystal is zero at zero Kelvin. Okay. So when the entropy is zero at zero Kelvin, we can uh, define, we can uh, determine that the third law of thermodynamics has reached. Okay. Okay, tengok yang merah ni. What is the most important is that the third law established that it is impossible for any process, no matter how idealized, to reduce the entropy of the system to its absolute zero value in the uh, finite number of pressure. Okay, he no thermodynamic system shall operate at 100% efficiency. Okay, so, uh, that means uh, the system, whatever the system is perfect, uh, at the end, uh, no of the thermodynamic system will op operate 100% efficient okay that means they must be at least uh 10 percent losses okay okay uh, now let's go to the definition of surrounding system and boundary so um uh first we look at the thermodynamic system Actually, it's a microscopic volume in space that can be adequately described by the dynamic state variables as, as temperature, in it, uh, entropy, and internal entropy and pressure. Okay, this is uh, when you want to know the system of the thermodynamics. Actually, that is a it is a volume. Okay, volume in the space, and this volume has a uh, variable such as temperature and so on, okay? That is a thermodynamic system. So now, def def now we look on the definition of the system. System actually is uh, something that you want or you choose for study, okay? That means it's, uh, it's uh, something uh, you want to make the analysis. So you have to know which space you want to choose. And uh, this is a called a system. Surrounding is a mass or region outside of the system. So when you have choose, uh, when you have choose uh, the system, so uh, the mass that beyond or outside of that system is called surrounding. And uh, boundary is uh, the uh, imaginary surface that have in a system that have in between system and surrounding okay this this is the pictures that shows system boundary and surrounding so in term of uh, temperature in term sorry in term of uh, a piston and uh, uh, what you call this uh, cylinder okay piston and cylinder so uh, the surrounding is outside the system boundary is uh, allocate the space of the system okay 
Okay, same as this uh, uh, turbine ataupun uh, diffuser. Okay. So, this is open uh, control volume. So, when you want to make the analysis, so this is a system and uh, outside of the system is surrounding and but the boundary is the uh, real or emergency surface. Okay. Okay, so a uh, type of the system. Actually, the system have three types. Okay. Uh, in thermodynamic system, actually, in thermodynamic system, that is that is the space that you you want to study. So the, this space, this uh, volume, have three types. So the first one is isolated, closed, and open. So let's see about isolated system. Isolated system. What happened in in terms of thermodynamics? Uh, mass or energy can cross the selected boundary. So when when we put as the system as an isolated, so neither ma uh, mass nor energy, okay, can uh, cross the selected boundary. Okay, tak boleh keluar langsung mass ataupun energy. Example, coffee in the closed or well accelerated thermos bottle. Okay, so the bottle, thermos bottle, that means uh, coffee in the closed and well accelerated thermos bottle. So that, that we made it the system as the isolated. Okay, a closed system. Closed system also known as a control mass. Why it's called as a control mass? Because uh, we can control the mass in the system. So consists of the fit amount of mass and no mass can cross the boundary. And no mass can enter or leave the uh, closed system. So in this system, mass cannot go in and go out. Okay. But, but energy in form of heat or work can cross the boundary and the volume does not have to be fit okay this is an example uh figures pictures of the closed system or control mass system okay mass cannot uh, cross the boundary but energy can open system Okay, the third one is open system. We are known as a control volume. Okay, closed system known as a uh, control mass. Okay, open system known as a control volume. So, uh, for the open system control volume, what happen? Mass and energy can cross the selected boundary. Okay, two of these uh, properties that be mass and energy can cross. Uh, no, two, uh, two of this uh, sub, uh, sub mass energy lah. Okay. Saya nak kata properties. No, tak boleh. Uh, Maksudnya dia, that's mean uh, mass energy uh, can cross. Actually, enclose a device that involve mass such as compressor, turbine and turbine uh, and nozzle. Okay, this is, this is uh, examples, uh, pictures that we can call as a control volume. So this is a nozzle uh, control volume. So it has the open system. Okay, open system that may have uh, open open space. Uh, also, the piston and and uh, cylinder have a hole. Okay, so boleh masuk, boleh keluar. Uh, control volume, a system, isolated system, tapi, but uh, we made a hole in, so, and out, so mass and energy can cross. Okay, that, that we categorize as an open system. So, properties of a system. Okay, we talk also on the properties. Okay, system have three types, and from the system, uh, we want uh, it also have the properties okay so let's known 
about the property. What is a property? Actually, property is any characteristic of a system. Okay, that is a property. Some familiar properties are pressure, temperature, volume, and mass. So whatever uh, we hear about temperature, pressure, volume, mass, uh, it's all the properties. Okay, example as uh, ourself. Okay, example as you uh, guys, you 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 guys. That means how I want to know you. Okay, how how I want to know Amir as example. So uh, maybe I may have a white hair. I may ada uh, hidung mancung. I know I may ada muka panjang. Contoh dia. So that is a properties of Amir. Sama juga sistem yang kita belajar dalam tempoh dan demi. The system, the properties. When that system, we know its properties, ciri-cirinya. Dan ciri-ciri this system is temperature, volume, mass, uh, pressure. That is all the properties. And uh, properties can be either uh, uh, in form of intensive ataupun extensive. So for for the intensive properties, what what is intensive? Uh, it is uh, the independent of mass or resistance, such as temperature, pressure, and density. That means the properties that not uh, that not uh, um, what what we call terpengaruh. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, the, the 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 properties that not influence another prop another system okay it called or uh, independent of mass okay uh, so that is intensive properties extensive properties those values of properties that depend on size or extent of the system okay it's called as extensive properties. Example, extensive here is mass, uh, volume. Intensive properties is uh, temperature, pressure, density, and so on. Okay, that is uh, uh, about intensive and extensive properties. A specific volume. Okay, specific volume is small v. Uh, and the formula is volume uh, divided by mass. Okay. Uh, the, and the, the unit is meter cube over kg. That is specific uh, properties. Thermodynamic equilibrium. Okay. The thermodynamic equilibrium is actually a system that maintain thermal. Uniform temperature. Uh, for mechanical, uniform pressure. Okay, that means phase, the mass of two phase, either ice and liquid water in equilibrium or uh, chemical equilibrium. That means the acid and alkali uh, phase may be at the uh, equilibrium in chemical. Okay, that we call by thermodynamic equilibrium. <clears throat> okay, state and equilibrium. State uh, is a set of properties that describe the condition of a system. That is state. Okay. And uh, thermodynamic deal with equilibrium states. Okay. So equilibrium is a state of balance. And thermal equilibrium, of course, if the temperature is the same to the entire system, it's called thermal equilibrium. Mechanical equilibrium, of course, is pressure, okay, as I said just now. Chemical is the chemical composition of the system does not change with time. So we call it as a chemical equilibrium. Okay. Uh, so uh, equilibrium is a state of balance. The state postulate, okay, what is a state postulate? This is the number of properties required to fit the state of the system by is given by the state postulate. So
So the state of the simple compression system is completely specified by two independence and intensive properties. Okay, simple compression system, if a system involves no electrical, magnetic, gravity motion and surface tension effect. Okay. Uh, that is the definition for, for the state uh, postulate. Okay, let's look on the processes and cycles. Process that has been defined as any change that the system undergo from one equilibrium state to another. That is process. So, in between process, that is path. Okay, path is a series of states through which the system passes during a process. So, um, quasi-static or quasi-equilibrium process. Okay, when look eh, when a process proceeds in such a manner that the system remains infinitesimally close to an equilibrium state at all time, it is slow process that allow the system to adjust itself internally so that the properties in the part of the system does not change any faster than those at another part. Okay, so uh in this slide, what I want you to know is uh, what is between process and the cycle. Okay, that means you know state. State has been defined uh, earlier. And uh, path, okay, path uh, in between state 1 and state 2, this is a process. Okay, this is a process. Is the processes happen, that means it will become a part of the uh, system. Okay, so uh, this is slow compression. When we when the compressions uh, from the right to the left uh, being compressed as a slow compression, it will categorize as a quasi equilibrium. But if uh, it have fast compression, it is categorized as non-quasi equilibrium. Okay. So, a process diagram plotted by employing thermodynamic properties as a coordinate are very useful in visualizing the process. Okay, this is quite important you have to know because when you want to understand uh, one of the problem in thermodynamics, basically uh, you have to draw the graph uh, based on the process. Okay, yang ni saya ambil umpama static lah. Static, bila kamu nak buat analysis mathematics tu, you must assume ataupun you must draw free body diagram. From free body diagram, you throw all the uncertainty forces, just put the related force or the forces dalam free body diagram, and from there, you come out with the mathematic model. So, in thermodynamics, free body diagram there is a graph, PV, TS, and so on, macam macam. So this is a free body diagram. So from here, barulah you can do the mathematic models uh, and then come out with the analysis. Okay. So uh, this is important. Uh, so some common properties that are used as coordinate are temperature. So all the all the properties that I have told you right just now, uh, intensive, extensive. Uh, what is kind of properties, what definition of properties in, is very important to you when you want to draw this graph. So, uh, we look on the cycle. What is a, actually definite as a cycle? So, a cycle is actually a process during which the initial and final state are identical. Okay. So, cycle maybe uh, Maybe this is a statement when when you when you draw the graph, you start from number one. Okay, example here, you start from number one. So you draw the process to 
no, number two, step number two. And then from step number two, you draw another path to step number three. Um, example here. And then from number three, you draw again. And this uh, path process uh, goes to number one. So when number one is identical with initial and final, so we call this uh, drawing, this path, this process, path uh, as a cycle. Okay? As a cycle. Okay. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Excuse me. Okay, type of the modern process. So now isothermal process. Um, actually, okay, actually, in the thermodynamics, uh, you must remember there will be five processes of uh, of uh, thermo, uh, five processes that occur in thermodynamics or in the uh, case of thermodynamics. Okay, five processes. Okay, number one process is isothermal. So this is a definition of isothermal process. Actually, it's a process during when the temperature remains constant. Okay, when the temperature demand process, when when the process, uh, example, okay, example, this process number one state to number two state, this process, the process is uh, we assume as a uh, same temperature. Okay, same temperature. And when we assume as the same temperature, we call that is the isothermal process. When the pressure remain constant, we call that is isobaric process. Okay, when the volume remain constant, we give this process name as a isochloric or isometric process. Okay. Uh, the definition you must understand uh, because in the cases of in the problem that will be given to you will be given to you uh, I don't uh, maybe maybe the question don't state the definitions of that isothermal isobaric isochloric you have to understand if the process is isothermic isobaric so the process is uh, constant pressure okay okay we proceed on cyclic process okay cyclic process actually when a system is given initial state goes through the various processes and finally return to its initial state the system has undergone a cyclic process or cycle so reversible process is a defined as a process that once have take place, it can be reversed. That is reversible process. Irreversible process. That means cannot return both the system and surrounding to its original uh, condition. That is process called irreversible. Adiabatic process uh, where uh, we assume no heat transfer into or out of the system. Okay, when it happened, we uh, we call that as an as a adiabatic process. Isentropic process, uh, the process where the entropy of fluid remain constant. Okay, when entropy is constant, it is isentropic process. Polytropic process, when uh, gas undergoes a reversible process in which there is heat transfer okay when when uh, heat energy is transferred to one substance to another substance so it goes to the polytropic process it is represented by the straight line uh, pv powered by n equal to constant that is for for a uh, polytropic process throttling process no change in enthalpy okay when enthalpy don't have any figures that change and no work is done at that uh, process we call it as a adiabatic okay 
Elevated protest uh, uh, is no work is done and also the entropy is uh, constant, no change. Uh, not, not, not constant, but no change. So that is throttling process. Okay. Okay, as I, 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 as I mentioned, uh, five processes in thermodynamic. Okay, five processes in thermodynamic. The first one is polytropic process. Polytropic process. Number two uh, is uh, isothermal process. Number three, isobaric process. Number four, isochloric process. And number five is adiabatic process. Okay, these all five processes that can be can have in thermodynamics. Okay, the state flow. Okay, the steady flow process. Okay, we look on steady flow process. Uh, all the processes uh, in thermodynamics will call will uh, will call as a steady flow process okay we don't we we did not we do not uh, study on non steady flow process okay just in this level we just study on the steady flow process okay steady flow process it means that no change with time so the process the flow is steady so no change with time the opposite of the steady and unsteady and transit. So as I said, thermodynamic only in this level, you only study on the steady flow process. Okay, steady flow process actually a process during which a flow flow uh, which the fluid flows through a constant volume steadily. Okay, not in unsteady, not in the transient uh, flow. Okay. The steady flow condition can be closely approximated by devices that are intended for continued operations such as the buying, pump, boiler, condenser, and so on. These are all devices that you will see along this semester in thermodynamics. Okay, temperature skills. Okay, uh, of course. Uh, when you want to to do the calculations, you have to use SI units, okay? SI unit. So for thermodynamics, temperature SI unit is Kelvin. So uh, you have to know how to convert from Celsius to Kelvin. So this is all the term that will be used on the temperature. Example for the temperature. Ice point, actually a mixture of ice or water that is equilibrium with air saturated with vapor at 180 M pressure. Okay, 180 M pressure at zero Celsius. Okay, zero Celsius uh, is equivalently uh, same as 32 Fahrenheit. Okay. So uh, that is ice point, steam point. Okay, steam point is mixture of liquid and water vapor with no air in equilibrium at 180 m pressure. That is 100 Celsius. Okay, 100 Celsius steam point. Uh, Celsius scale in SI unit. Okay, uh, in SI unit. Fahrenheit scale in English unit uh, system. Thermodynamic temperature scale or temperature scale that is independent of the properties of any substance. Kelvin scale, SI. So, uh, as I said, calculation is based on the Kelvin. So, uh, the temperature scale nearly identical the Kelvin scale is the ideal gas temperature scale. So, the temperature on this scale are measured using the constant volume gas temperature. Okay, this is how we convert temperature uh, from Kelvin, okay, from Kelvin, Kelvin uh, sorry, from Celsius to Kelvin. So to, to get the Kelvin values, temperature, so you have, you must plus 253.15. 
Okay, for Vernon High, uh, for, sorry, this unit, we don't use in the calculations. Okay, this is for just for your knowledge. Okay, comparison of the picture scale. Okay, maybe this one you can uh, go ahead or you can read yourself. Okay, another pro properties is pressure. Pressure is normal force exerted by an fluid per unit area. This is formula for uh, pressure, where pressure is uh, force uh, divided by area, and the unit is Pascal. Uh, unit also can be used, but in SI unit, we use Pascal. Uh, bar in English, uh, ATM, and so on. But in calculation, in thermodynamic, we, we use uh, Pascal. Okay, some basic pressure gauge. This is all gases, okay, gauges. Uh, okay, so this is about a uh, okay, how it is uh, pounds, different main, same main, but different picture, 150 pounds, 300 pounds, okay, so what happened uh, if 150 pounds, uh, the pressure is uh, 3 PSI, 6 PFI, okay, how to calculate this PSI, so using the formula weight over the area fit, so you have PSI pressure. So pound is uh, weight, okay, mass, okay. Okay, in pressure, uh, relationship between uh, absolute gauge and vacuum pressure also is important to you to know. Okay, actually, this is formula for uh, gauge pressure. Gauge pressure is a pressure that show in these gauges. Okay, this is gauge pressure. So, the, actually, gauge pressure is a pressure absolute minus pressure ATM. Okay, so what is pressure gauge? Pressure gauge actually the difference between the absolute pressure and the local atmospheric pressure. Most pressure measuring devices are calibrated to zero in the atmosphere, and so they indicate gas pressure. Uh, that is gas pressure. Uh, absolute pressure is uh, actually actual, okay? Pressure at given position. So uh, this is the actual pressure. It is measured relative to the absolute vacuum. And vacuum pressure, pressure below atmospheric pressure. Okay, this is how it tell the difference between absolute uh, pressure, uh, ATM pressure. Okay, so this is a real pressure. This is a ATM pressure. And differences between uh, ATM and absolute is uh, vacuum pressure. So this is device that use uh, to okay device uh, that use to measure pressure. So uh, this is just for uh, reviewing or uh, study apa uh, ulang kaji okay. This is for only for ulang kaji Pascal law how we apply Pascal law, okay, and the ratio. So this is how we made it's more easy like this device, more easy to uh, push up the car. Okay, kalau kita nak use our actual uh, force, tak boleh. So you, we have to do based on the Pascal law. Okay, they are pindahkan relation uh, relative to uh, first point to another point that is based on the Pascal law. Okay, uh, device that uh, measure pressure. Okay, one is a barometer. 
Okay, this is how the barometer uh, been, uh, been used and be calculated uh, to get the ATM uh, pressure. Uh, also, a uh, device that can use to measure is manometer. This is the basic concept of uh, pressure measuring. Okay, basic concept. Uh, so, uh, commonly used to measure small and moderate pressure devices. So, uh, manometer contain more fluid such as mercury, water, oil, and alcohol. Okay, yani this is a flow. Flow ni lalu kat sini. So, manometer kat sini dalam ni adalah fluid, uh, minyak dan sebagainya. Okay, sama juga gas, minyak. So from here you can measure, you can calculate and have the actual uh, pressure that apply to this uh, situation or gas. Okay, that is a pressure measure devices. Other pressure measure devices like ni burden tube, pressure transducer, so uh, string gauge pressure transducer, uh, piezoelectric transducer. Okay, also called solid state pressure transducer. Okay, this is type of the uh, pressure uh, measurement. Okay, energy and environment. Okay. So, why this energy environment is important? Because uh, in the real situations, in the real environment situations, in uh, wherever you you are in uh, campus uh, in Slango, in Pantatimo and sebagainya etc so uh, the air that you breathe is many way so uh, study of energy is not complete without considering its impact on the environment. So, uh, one uh, major uh, considerations is based on the pollution. Okay, because when energy uh, being uh, changes from uh, energy to another energy, the problems that come from that uh, process situation that uh, happen is pollution. Okay, that's mean example pollutant emitted during the combustion of fossil fuel. Okay, example such as smoke, acid rain, and global warming. This is when we uh, burn the fossil fuel, so the gas gases will be pollute the environment so the environment's pollution has reached such high level that it can become the serious trick to vegetations wildlife and human health so much um, as you see in the pictures crater that means it uh, emit uh, nitrogens um, carbon monoxides and hydrocarbons this is all the elements chemicals gases that very uh, dangerous okay uh, silent killer this okay so uh, let's uh, know about smoke okay what is actually smoke a smoke is uh, made up mostly of ground level ozone but it is also contained numerous other chemicals including carbon monoxide, uh, particulate matter such as soot and dust, volatile organic components such as benzene, butane and other hydrocarbons. That is smoke. Okay, smoke. Smoke actually is like a cloud but it's quite uh, dangerous to us. Hydrocarbon and nitrogen oxide re reach in the presence of sunlight on hot plain day to form ground level ozone so ozone irritated ice and damage the air 
dioxide in the lung where oxygen and carbon dioxide are exchanged. So uh, that that is a, uh, ozone that means causing uh, eventual hardening of the soft and spoke uh, tissues. So it's also a shortness of breath, wheezing, fatigue, HS, and now see, uh, this is all the problem causes uh, because of the uh, pollute uh, our environment. So another serious pollutant in smoke is carbon monoxide, which is uh, colorless. Okay, this is a very uh, dangerous gas. Uh, and poison gas and why why you have to know this because this gas actually uh, example carbon monoxide it's it's emit every day every second by motor vehicles that is you have to know uh, the important how you must control this uh these uh gases or these uh um, poisoning gas okay so um also we have also the particular methods such as dust and soot are emitted by vehicle and industry vehicles such particle irritated the eyes and the lung okay uh in this slide you 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 only must know the definition how to describe how to determine how to show uh, ozone and also smoke okay acid rain okay from ozone smoke and now we come as acid rain the sulfur sulfur okay the sulfur in the fuel react with oxygen to form sulfur dioxide which is an air pollutant. Okay, is air pollutant. The main source of CO2 uh, is the electric power plant that is burned high surface coal. Uh, that is uh, from the power plant. Uh, so uh, vehicle also have contribute the CO2 emission. Uh, so CO2 ni will react with oxygen to form uh, um, sorry sorry CO2 will add with oxygen okay that mean uh, sulfur add with oxygen will form CO2 and then uh, it goes to the uh, air and then uh, react with the acid rain so this is quite dangerous because this acid rain uh is have acid lettered droplets which can be as acid as a lemon juice that's mean uh are washed from the air to the soil by rain or snow this you know okay that that's why acid road is uh quite uh dangerous okay one of the uh solutions of this all three is uh we can do the control by the greenhouse uh gas but uh but uh before you know how before you use this green gas house you have to know the effect of green gas house global warning and climate change what is greenhouse greenhouse what is green uh, uh gas come what with what gas category as green, greenhouse effect so uh, glass allow the solar radiation to enter freely but block the infrared radiation emit from the internal surface. Okay, this cause a rise in the internal temperature at the source. Okay, so this uh, greenhouse effect. So, uh, uh, okay, uh, the surface of us, okay, with one up during the day as a result of absorption of the solar energy, cool down the night by radiation part of the energy into deep space as infrared radiation. So, uh, so this is uh, how uh, the effect of greenhouse. Okay, so sun come to the earth, and then uh, solar radiation pass through, and it mostly absorbed by earth surface. 
then uh, some infrared radiation emitted by us is absorbed by greenhouse gases so greenhouse gases and emit back so greenhouse gases uh, gases is uh, carbon dioxide co2 uh, so uh, it actually come other gas as methane nitrogen oxide at line bracket and keep the warm up at night by blowing the heat and do a global warning so so carbon dioxide co2 that have in the air uh, emit okay uh, with uh, radiations that uh, come from uh, from us okay that mean uh, turun and then it will turun pula dalam bentuk acid rain ataupun berada di permukaan bumi dan itu akan menjadi satu masalah uh, kepada pencemaran dan uh, CO2 is actually come or produce by so fossil fuel such as coal oil and natural gas and for fossil fuel that's mean we we have a lot of the power plant that use this coal oil and uh, natural gas and also uh, fuel fossil fuel okay that is that can contribute more in future if we do not uh, control or if we do not have the the knowledge how to control this uh, pollutant okay uh, so this is a report uh, that uh, show uh, during last century uh, our world first is 0 0.5 celsius and the expertise expert estimate that the earth's temperature will rise another two celsius by year to uh, 100 so this is quite dangerous in the future because now also we have uh, heard the uh, solar heat okay that come from uh, sun and our temperature normal temperature is increase uh, that is all uh, uh, will affect okay global uh, warning so we as an engineer uh, we responsible to uh, minimize uh, global warm, warming okay okay so this is how how uh, when we when you got uh, the the cases the experiment the uh, problems this is how you solve or the step of solving the technique okay actually this uh, method has been discussed has been shown has been uh, been told to you in uh, in introductions to engineering uh, course okay so step number one to step number five this is the uh, general concept how you solve the thermodynamics uh, problems okay that's all uh, chapter number one uh, about uh, uh, introductions and the fundamental concept actually uh, in this chapter what you have to know is you must understand and remember the definitions of the words and sentence and also the uh, the title the the titles that uh, will be used in thermodynamics or in the calculations of thermodynamics Okay, uh, any question from the floor, daripada kamu, any question?
about chapter number one? No, sir. Tak ada every, everything agak mudah kan? Agak senang semua. Okay, kalau tak ada apa-apa, so kita dah sampai part lebih lah. Sepatutnya part setengah tadi dah kita dah keluar dah. Sebab ni jadi tak apa, uh, next week kita cuba cuba memudahkan lagi. So kalau tak ada apa-apa, uh, wait lah. Uh. So, nanti... Okay, uh, 